What's going on, y'all? It's Ash Innovator, the designer DP, coming at you with the best damn cinematography channel ever. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get an amen? amen. All right, y'all, big shout out to the congregation. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about using color contrast to create more dynamic imagery. Now I'm not saying using color instead of lighting contrast, but using it complementary with lighting contrast to help make give your images a little more cinematic depth. Now the most common of our color contrast that we see day to day is blue and orange. My skin, your skin, most human beings skin all has a warmth to it. There's a little bit of an orange tint. Now when you go outside, the sky is blue. So we see this blue and orange effect going on all day. And then most of your favorite films, like especially all these high action thriller, Michael Bay films, they all have this blue and orange contrast and usually it's enhanced through the color process. But that's what we see, it's a common thing. I'm gonna kinda take that theory and I'm gonna use that to just help create a little bit more separation between our subject and our background. Check out how I'm using color contrast to create a more dynamic image right here. I'm not using RGB lights, this is simply just a separation of color temperature. You see this lamp? This is a 3200 lamp. Outside we have something about 5600. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little cooler than it usually is just because the color in the sky right now. And you see this falling onto our subject. I'm using basic orange and blue colors to make a more dynamic image while keeping it natural. I'm not talking using color lights. I'm keeping things real natural in Reggie Miller with this 3200 bulb and the natural blue sunlight coming out the window. The beautiful part about this, I'm doing this with one light and one flag. This warm tungsten light is lighting our character. And what makes this really fun is that we actually have the lamp in the shot. It's motivated. And that allows us to get a little bit more creative. Look how hot I can make it. Like I can make this a really bright, blaring light and it looks natural, it feels real. It doesn't feel too over the top. Now stylistically for me, I like to see the light. Like I wanna feel the light. I kinda use the light like it's another character in the room or it's another enhanced part of the story. Like I wanna feel it, I wanna see where it's coming from and I, I wanna feel its energy. And that right there is just my style, that's my own personal thing. Now we frame this practical behind our actor. So it kind of creates a backlight. This way it allows us to keep the camera pointed in towards the shadows and that gives us a little bit more of a dramatic image. We have our actor Jody framed with his silhouette against the window. So this light is coming in, this blue light from the window is just kind of beaming on his back just a little bit. And that just creates like a little rim and it gives like a nice little pop. I think that looks pretty nice. It adds a little bit more character, a little bit more depth. And then you see this foreground, it's lit by this warm tungsten color. And especially if you don't have like a bunch of toys on hand to light and, and get all fancy, this is a great way to simply create some, some color contrast using God's natural light. Right? There's other ways you could do this. Like You could push an M18 through something or another big light through the window. You can get fancy and create a grid on top and do some more backlight with some, uh, with, with some richer colors to really create that depth. But I think if your resources are limited or your time's limited or if you're just trying to use what you have on hand, this is a beautiful way to get this done. I mean, look, we're using this with just one light, one practical bulb, and we've created this. Let's talk about this flag. Flags create shadows, shadows create depth. So what naturally wants to happen is my practical light wants to shoot up into my white ceiling and fill the overall room and then that's just gonna lighten up my shadows. I don't want that. I wanna control this light. I want this light to live in its own realm and its own world and do its own thing. So we put this flag, this is a 24 by 36 on top of this practical and that stops all the light from hitting the ceiling and just controls it where it is. Let me show you what happens when I take the flag away. You see all the shadows get lifted. We lose that rich deep shadow contrast that I personally like so much. This may be your thing. You may not like that. That's just my personal thing. There's no right or wrong answer to cinematography. You do what you feel is best. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Do your own creative thing. I'm gonna give you another quick tip and I got this from my man Mo Flam and I'm gonna try and drill this in your heads because it's really important. Now who is Mo Flam? He's a genius man. This guy's been lighting sets since I was in Pampers and he's been respected in Hollywood. He's worked on like movies as won Oscars for cinematography. So he's the kind of guy you listen to. I'm gonna try and give this to you in a way you remember. Keep your lighting upstage. Keep the lighting upstage. 
keep your lighting up stage. That is his mantra. Keep the lighting up stage. Now, there are going to be times you don't want to keep it up stage. But as a general rule, if you're trying to keep things really cinematic, you want to try to keep the lighting up stage, which is always going to create a backlight and it's going to make your images pop. So watch this. Look what happens when I drag the light forward, right? We start to fill in our shadows. The light is now frontal. This could probably work for like a commercial or some branded content that you're using. For something rich and cinematic, it's not my taste. So now we get to pushing this light behind him. So now the light is upstage and the magic starts to happen. Keep the lighting upstage. Shout out to Mo Flam. When I say upstage lighting, what I mean is the light is facing towards the lens of the camera. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a whole video on upstage and downstage lighting just so you can see the difference and you can know when to creatively apply each one. All right, y'all, once again, this is Ash Innovator, the designer DP. That was a video about using color contrast to create more dynamic images. If you like what you see, give me a like, give me a subscribe, shout me out on Instagram, I'm Ash underscore Innovator, and tune back for some more y'all. Peace.